Bwana kubariki sana. Tumekuwa na wiki ambao ni ya amani. Wiki ambao Bwana mwenyewe ametupigania kwa maana wakati umefika ikajulikane kwa haba ni Mungu alituita sio mwanadamu. Wanaoingia mfanye haraka na mketi. Ah uh, tulikuwa na fundisho kuhusu growth kukua kukua kuogezeka na mnajua kwamba growth ni kitu kimoja kinatia mtu moyo anytime unazaa mtoto unaona ameanza kuongea ameanza kutembea hiyo peke yake inakuonyesha kuna growth na katika hali ya kuishi na hali ya kiroho kuna mambo yatakiwa kuwa ishara ya kukuonyesha kwamba kuna mahali unaenda Halo? kuna mahali na unaenda si vizuri usuguke pahali pamoja all the time sio vyema wapendwa ukijirudia unapata kwamba wewe kila unafanya maisha ni tu ni kuwa active lakini haupigi hatua na tukaona kuna growth mara kadhaa ya kwanza tuliona inaitwa devotional growth devotional growth ah uh, na ningetamani sana kama wale watu wa pale i don't know kama this screen can work nikitaja kitu kama hiyo kinaandikwa hapa devotional growth if they can if they can if they cannot hii uh, inaweza kuwa na mtu anaweza kuandika nikaa devotional growth inaandikwa just that other things growth ya kwanza inaitwa devotional growth devotional growth ni tabia yangu ya it is ni tabia yangu na Mungu munda wangu na Mungu munda wangu na mwenye kuniokoa munda wangu uhusiano wangu na mwenye aliniita do you know you can grow in so many things lakini i don't know kama unajua kwamba growth number one ni mimi na Mungu aliyeniita Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe Oh na nimekumbuka leo natakiwa kwa Baba Salome uko free leo Kuna gari badisha akili utaenda abadea Sidio I will send you there I'm supposed to be like siwezi ada sasa Anza kubadilika akili kwa hapa na uitisha jacket kule kuna baridi safi <laughs> zenda huko sasa na mbona na kule na kule uja mama mwesha ruti ya kwenu si utaenda hata wewe nataka kusahau sababu tuna ubatizo tuna nini haya asante sana na umeke sure amekuja jamaa na kuraka maziwa ile mama na na kuja na maziwa mama si ana wana ainukia na mi na si miji boga Dio safari barikiwa ndapo na rudipo. <laughs> Thank you. Devotional growth ni kukua kwangu na Mungu mwenye kuniita. Have you seen watu wanaweza kuwa so busy? Let me, let me just remind you. You can be very busy in business, very busy na watoto, very busy na shughuli kwamba muda wako na Mungu aliyekuita huna. Unaweza ka unaweza kuwa umeokoka miaka 20 na mtu ambaye ameokoka wiki mbili akushide yeah. kama kuna kitu mimi najaribu ku, kuondoa ndani ya ni ile attitude ya kwamba we ni wa zamani hiyo kitu hiyo ni ujinga kabisa never never have a feeling at we ni wa zamani na umekoma hasa sisi hapa tunakaa hapa mbele hiyo kitu itakuharibu itakuharibu 
itakuharibu petero amesema katika maandishi tuendelee kukua tukililia maziwa ya kiroho ukikunywa maziwa that one is very important devotional growth to december just want to remind you ni kukua katika tabia mbili neno 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 mtu ambaye ameokoka watakiwa kuwa every year bible umeisoma ukamaliza kila mwaka ukitumia uda mpangilio wetu wa bulletin hii utakuwa umesoma biblia ukamaliza uh, within two years the only vitabu ambao hatujawahi kuweka kwa, kwa bulletin sana sana ni kitabu kama songs of solomon atukagi hiyo we, we, we just feel that is so emotional uh -huh. but like Mamamas abia kevudi akura. Kwa hivyo kila mtu angalia kwa siku kuja dia vudi. Magia hapa kula nyesha. Unajua ragi ya watu. Na kwa rabia watu kama wewe ni wastima. Unatembea around ukiona kuna mali kuna stima shida. Unaniambia tunauda kama wewe ni vudi. Ah hii nyumba Bwana inuliwe praise the Lord. Now kukua katika neno. Hii Bible watakiwa kama wewe ni a normal christian ukisoma chapter 3 3 or 4 every day by december umemaliza hii biblia na sehemu moja ya anointing ukiuliza watu kama wale wamehubiri miaka mingi utakuta like now TD Jakes anasema yeye devotion yake per day ni 15 chapters kusoma neno asikia ameshiba ni chapter kumi na ngapi per day people no nakuta si kusoma ida mchezo atanasoma kwa matatu anatenga kama masaa matatu au ine amekapa hali anasoma akiandika anasoma anasoma na hebu niwaambie kitu na mniangalie vizuri Ukisoma neno hivyo ni vingumu sana mawazo yako yachafuke. That's why David alisema hivi, neno lako limeliweka moyoni mwangu. Nisija nikatana dhambi. Any person who soma neno devotion, unajua? Unajua kuna what we say you study about the Bible and you study the Bible. Those are different. Theologians study about the Bible. Unaanza na pasta akona PhD ya theology na anaanguka. Anajua so much theology, theology, eh, soteriology, eh, pneumatology, anajua, anajua, anajua. Kuna kuweka theology chini useme, let me read the Bible as the word of God. Mungu aninene. I'm not studying about the Bible. I'm studying the Bible. Ni sisomi kuhusu oma neno lenyewe wakati huo si mambo ya commentary si mambo ya nini a me and the word na niwaambia kusoma biblia una maswali matatu unajiuliza ya kwanza inasema nini what is the bible saying hiyo ni kujua direct kile kimeandikwa number 2 inamaanishaje what does the word mean number three, ninawezaje kutii hili neno how can i respond to this word hatua tatu za kusoma neno inasema nini inasema nini inamaanishaje ninawezaje kutii ukipitia hizo hatua tatu neno litakuwa na nguvu sana ndani yako amen praise the name of the lord ni kama leo kusoma romans chapter 8 verse 28 god makes all things work together for good to them that love him and are called 
according to his purpose. Number one, uijue. And that's what nabia mutu, nunua bibiria abao unaweza memorize haraka. We normally recommend King James Version or New King James Version. NIV, sawa, but NIV has problems. NIV? NIV, sometimes there's a, our friend, Dr. 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 Gordon Fee. Walikuwa me, to watch ideology. It's, it's nice Bible, it's a nice one. But I recommend King James Version or New King James Version. Na wara wa Kiswahiri, nunua ile Bible ya Kiswahiri original. Usununue good news. Good news, hii ya vijana, wametafsiri Bible ya Kiswahiri in a simple language, which has not taste for mtu wabai kama wewe. Hii ulitorewa Sunday School. Eda Keswick, Eda Pale Scripture Union, as for Kiswahiri Bible. Ile, ile ya Kiswahiri piwa. Ile kabisa inarirete na Bibiria bila kuwa paraphrased. Unasoma Bibiria bao unaweza elewa kile kimeadikwa direct. Ukisha elewa, ujiulize. Neno hili ninasemaji. Mungu kufanya mambo yote ya nete mema. What does that mean? And then, praise the Lord. Kwa nitu nakuwabio usome Bible yote, eh, chapter yote. Kwa sababu, hawezi tafsiri Biblia na one verse. Utaharibu. Utaharibu. In fact, wanasemaga, kama jabo halijatajwa marabiri kwa Biblia, it should not form a doctrine. Uh, na sema, Bible interprets Bible. For instance, ukisoma Corinthians chapter 11, inaongea kuhusu family order, na mamba ya mama kufunika kitaba. Iyo kama utasoma yote, usome verse moja taribu. Because pare mwaza sema kwamba, ni jabo na aibu mwanamuke kuenda bereza mungu, mwanamuke kuabudu bila kufunika kichwa. Inadi kwa hivyo, it's so clear. Wewe uh, mefunika? <laughs> Inadi kwa hivyo. Haya, ukienda hapo chini, unaona po wanasema, na tabia hiyo, Haimo pahali pengine ispokuwa kanisa la korinto. Does that mean? Ina maanisha kwamba kama ugeenda ukeenda leo Jerusalem wanaume dio hufunika. Aha. Ukienda hapo chini inasema mwanamuke amepewa nywere kama kifuniko. Arabu nasema, ni jabo la aibu mwanamuke kunyoa nywele. Kwa maana, mwanamuke amepewa nywele kama kawa. And then, pale juri kwa mesema, kufunika, ugefikiria ni kitaba. Pale china sema, mwanamuke amepewa nywele, ili funike kichwa yake. Unasasa kapa kuna tofauti? Arabu nasema, haya, arabu nasema, inawisa hivyo, kwani maubile, Haija wafudisha kwamba ni jabo la aibu. Na hiyo sasa is more reasonable. Ni jabo la aibu mwanamuke kuwa amenyorewa kabisa. Ni kama leo saimozi mama. Muka wa saimo ako wapi? Uge imaji saimozi sasa die amelea nyuele mama amenyorewa. Au ugetaka uge anyue? Pada. You see, akiwa hivo, mwanamuke becomes real, akiwa na nyuele. Neme mfunika vizu, vizuri. Kwa nasema, bona hamujui maubire, ina mfunisha hivo. Kwa hapa, mwanamuke mepewa nyuele kama kifuniko. You see, ata kama huja, edda other research. Sinona sasa, inajitafsiri. Kathiri sasa, praise God. Arafu, ukiendo tagudua kwamba, Haya, iyo swali ni dugu walikuwa meadika, family furani, kutoka korintho, ikadikia pao barua. Haya, katika Korea, Greek, 
wazungu wa Greek mwanamke angetaka kutangaza ni kahaba alikuwa analea nywere inaanguka ovyo ovyo mwanamke angetokea kwa barabara na nywere kama hata mkiangalia wale wanawake huwa Las Vegas kule Florida eh, Hollywood utakuta wale wanawake wana act wa sinema unakuta nywere inaanguka huko sio ma wale wanaoka kwa Amsterdam kwa Grand na nywere hivi mwanamke akiagusa na unajua nywere za tena you need to understand nywere za za wa Greek na zetu wasiwa nani zetu ni ngumu zao zinaanguka you know you, you you discuss now and analyze mm ilikuwa sasa akitaka kutangaza ni kahaba nywere anaangusha nywere huko akitaka kutangaza kwamba yeye ni mnyenyekevu au ako chini ya mume hiyo nywere ilikuwa haiachiliki kuaguka inafugwa kuna kakataba kataba haikuwa kifuniko actually ilikuwa inaitwa periboron peri ni kwa round kuna kitaba ilikuwa inafugwa round hapa inashikilia nywere that showed huu ni mke mwenye kefu ako na tabia au ameolewa sasa paulo alipohubiri korintho akasema kuna muyunani hakuna nini muyunani na muyahudi hakuna mke mume zote Tuko sawa beza bwana watu wa Korintho wakatafsiri vibaya wakasema wanaume nyinyi na sisi tuko sawa tego tuikalela kale ka kitu kalikuwa kanavaliwa kuonyesha mwanamke ni mnyenyekevu wadada wa kanisa wakatoa nyore kaza kuaguka kama ya kahaba kanisa ikaza kuabiwa wale wanaokoka ni makahaba po alipoulizwa sema hapana hiyo ka kitu karudishwe kwa sababu ilikuwa ishara katika tabia ya kiunani kwa mwanamke nyelekevu alafu akajaribu kuitafsiri kiroho usipotulia usome neno vizuri unaona unaweza you know, haribu praise the lord and that's why napenda mtanama somo jona bishop uh, do, we ha- do we can I get a good commentary ya kitabu cha Korintho I can get you I will know where we can get them or some of them can go fishing uh, although we prefer no no sababu watu wengi nikuwapatia hawarudishi unajua kuna watu ukipatia kitabu ya Mungu anaiba anasema ati Mungu haulizi na ni yangu hata unaambia kwa hivyo praise the lord when you read what does it say make sure umesoma the whole chapter ili uelewe the whole teaching the whole teaching ni kama leo Kristo alipoenda Capernaum akasema nyumba ya baba ina makao mengi Capernaum kulikuwa na nyumba nyingi sana so Paulo aki eh, no Yesu akisema nyumba ya baba ina makao mengi watu wageelewa kuligana vile Capernaum ilikuwa imejengwa so uki, ukiwa na interest ya kusoma biblia na tosipojua history ujaribu kuitafsiri yenyewe the whole chapter utaona verse 1 inakupata haya verse 3 inakupatia nuru ya verse 1 verse 7 inakupatia complete meaning na kuna zingine itabidi usome chapter zote kama tatu for instance a corintho 7 a corintho 6 a corintho 8 Bwana asiye sana. Utaona saba inasema mwanamke is it Corinthians uh, is not in Romans or whatever. Ah, utaona uh, inaanza kuongea free fornication. Corintho ulikuwa muji umejaa usharati. Kulikuwa na kitu anaita tempo uh, makahaba wa tempo. Corintho it was so immoral kwamba kulikuwa na makahaba wamewekwa kwa tempo mwanaume kitabu azae mtoto na mke wake kwanza angeenda arai na huo kahaba ate dio abarikiwe na huo kahaba it was so immoral Corinth was a very immoral city haya that's why unaona chapter 6 7 and 8 inaongea kuhusu immorality kimbieni zina dhambi yote mwanamume au mwanamke ufanya iko nje ya mwili lakini dhambi ya fornication huwa ndani ya mwili and that's why usherati is enough kufanya tufukuze mtu kanisa eh huyu akilala nje huyu Yunus 
Aje hapa. Utasikia tu kwenda daimono zingine. Aki, mwanaume huwa kienda inje aache kivadhi. Sisemi urede. It is very hard upenda kivadhi. You know why? Usherati hufanyika dani ya mwiri. Leo mtu akichukua maji hago hii. Anilipe na ingine. Kisi maisha. Usherati wezi lipa. Ime ingia already. You can't. It is so deep. So, if you read the Bible, utapata nini? Meaning za mwamengine sana. Sinikweli? Mwana inuwe sana. Unasomo naelewa. Inasema mwamengi. Inasema mume wakatu wote muke wako wako hai. Umefungwa na yeye. Kisharia. There are so many things. What does it say? What does it mean? How can I obey it? Naona hapa kuna mzee anataka maji. Kunywa hivi. Miaka yako ni yato mahai wewe. Wewe amohingurere. <laughs> Ukiangalia watu wote hapa baba Jerry, wewe uguka hao. Haya. Praise the Lord. Fanyia mtahitaje maji? Huwa kikabla kunywa maji anasikia kama eh eh inaitwa pH what? Haya. Haya. So grow in the word. Grow in the word. It's very hard mtu anayesoma neno kwa udani ukute kwamba akili yako inachafuka. It's very hard. Atunaangalia mwanamke anotamani. You see the word of God ikiwa kwako kwa wingi. Enough in a cooper attitude towards the world. Neno hufanya mtu awe na meaning complete ya Mungu. Uwezi soma kitabu cha Exodus, umalize, eh? Huyu ni Musa, ananenea bahari ya Shamu. Huyu ni Musa, anapiga ama, amaleki, mikono na inua. You know that miraculous life. Na iwe kwapa utadoubt Mungu. Ezoria. Ukiona watu wanaanguka, hawana neno. Hawana Uwe soma kitabu cha Mariko. Uone Yesu. Anaponya viwete. Anafufua wafu. Na ukose kuwa na reality ya Kristo kwa akili. Lakini watu wengi wanakaa wiki. In fact, bibi ya zikini hapa. Zimefuguliwa leo. Mbwana inuliwe sana. Bibi ya zikini zimefuguliwa nini? Leo. Leo dio zimefunguliwa. Ndaka kuna kijana ni kuwabia wangalia. Hako wabi. Edo katafute mentorship. Wezi kaa hapa bina mkotea kodo ujui meko wabi. Ukikosa, usi yokose sifa. <laughs> ni mpa kodo boja agalia da ajui bia patria wabi. <laughs> Bwana is, praise the Lord. Katika pia devotional growth, kuna kitu kinaitua the will of God. Kukua katika kujua the will of God. Amen. Kuna mze moja katika Old Testament ananifresha sana. Anaitua Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat ageda anywhere. Ageda anywhere. Ageuliza. Is there no prophet of God here? Kwa nini? Tuulize kutoka kwake. Akienda kwa Ahab, watu wakiogea wangaza, uh -uh. is there no prophet of God here? Tuulize kutoka kwake. Utajua kwamba kuna watu abao hukoma katika kujua the will of God. Unakuwa kwamba you can't go far bila kuuliza Jehovah anatakaji. Hiyo ni the growth. And then tukasema kwamba devotional growth ingine ni mtu kuvuja mira o kuagamiza stronghold. Utapata kwamba in the name of the Lord unaangamiza stronghold. Stronghold ni wambia ina maana bili. Maana ya kwanza. Maana ya kwanza. Ni ile area katika maisha yako 
ambao ibilisi au dunia hukutafuta sana is an area in your life ambapo una udhaifu hapo dipo una uojwa hapo dipo unagetaka kuponywa na you do area ambao attack attack huja sana unapata kwamba weza pata dugu hapa ni mtu wa ibada mzuri lakini ako na madeni inamsumbua hiyo kitu kimfikia yeye humia sana kuna mtu mke wake dio issue mwingine mume dio issue mwingine kuna mtoto wako ambao daima amekusumbua hapo dipo ukifika unasikia karibu hata kuna ashas kuna mtu hana madeni kuna mtu hana shida ya marriage shida yako ni rasti boy <laughs> huyu ni ule ukikaa hivyo kimkumbuka unasikia kulia machozi hiyo ndio idea yako ambao wewe huumia hiyo ni stronghold stronghold mara mbili maana namba 2 praise the lord ah uh, ni mahali ambapo uko weak ambao unahitaji kurekebisha katika maisha yako you are weak kuna mtu ukijirudia utakuta kwamba wewe ni mudhaifu katika huduma na hiyo area ule muovu huitumia sana huitumia sana huitumia sana iko mtu leo tulikuwa naye haya kaapo wapi bibilia kaapo hiyo kijana amenitupa leo tumeonana <laughs> na ni mkubwa kila kwa watoto huwa siki kitu Kennedy we make sure msoma bible huyu na zipo somo na chapa coffee ngapi awe na adab brother gadai hasa ka hapa hao nimeambia they start mentally sasa nime kwa bio sasa nao umempata wapi kwa watoto anapenda kaka uko sana huku huwa shiki na kuna wengine tutatoa kule hawashiki hawashiki kule hawashiki tu watakuwa hapa kuna wengine kule hatasaidika wanataka kuwa hapa waona wazee kama sisi tunachapana na mkikula nyama mnawaita sasa hivyo wambia talia mara maya <laughs> Jiwaze, kuna bichara inatakiwa muda beba. Unawaambia hebu yeye twende. Pewa, pewa sahani ya viazi kula malisa. Alafu muna munaongea okay. We need to mentor some of the big boys there. Wanahitaji kuwa wanakaa huko. So that we can help them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Alafu siku kaa naye tu. Lazima muulize umeshidaje wiki hii? Where are you feeling? Where do you need help? Mentor how si watu tu wakufundisha they need mentorship praise the lord leo tulifanyia kina kraja na karioki tunatembea waulia siku hizi unasikiaje <laughs> hallelujah ni vile tu these days i'm very busy i like mentoring vijana vijana na ni marafiki zangu the only thing we need to change wale watu nyuma koma watu wengi they can't mentor hii imenetea shida kwa sababu hao vijana wanataka kupendwa. Hao vijana hawataki mtu unamwenjoy. Unajua you people you make a mistake. Mnawa treat kama watoto. Ataongea na wewe. Au next time atatoka kanisa. Sasa hivi mama mnaketi wa mama wawili mnaongea so hao hapendi hiyo mweketo wa mama wili kipale kwa gate mnaongea story mkiona akipita mnacheka na kuambia atakuchukia anajua that woman ni mwambia my story na vile ameniangalia na yule wakacheka wanaongea kuhusu mimi so kazi inakuwa nyingi kwa wangu bwana unakuta wasiana na bishop usitutume kwa mama na hao yuthi wakubwa hatutaki eh is an issue anatakuwa naanza anatakuja kuambia kuna mmoja nitafuta kanitafuta kaambia nini ba bishop nimeharibika asema akona addiction ya sex 
msichana wa pale ni kadogo lakini ka Maji mtu akiniambia hivi akuna addiction to sex sitaeleza mengine but now god is so powerful they get they get delivered praise the lord now now god's will at a stronghold where ambapo sio shetani ukupata haraka there's an area pia mungu aweza kukulaani haraka is a stronghold hiyo ni area inaweza fanya uishe unakuta wewe ni mdhaifu kuongea unaweza ongea mpaka roho wa bwana mnakosana unaweza kasirika paka baada ukijirudia unakuta ile karamu ilikuwa naye Mungu ameondoa kuna watu hutembea hawana boundary ukiulizwa tangu asubuhi unakuta umetembea sijui kila boma ni kama uko na wewe ni mlevi kuna mtu mwingine ako na udhaifu hawezi saidia ile body unakuta jamaa ako na pesa na amebarikiwa na mama yake akikojeka mama mzazi akikojeka anapata raini kwa clinic hapa chini kwa mtu aombe dawa na the son is a millionaire the son ni mwalimu the son mtu wa biashara na mama yake alipojeka ni maneipo alimsaidia mama aliye You see that's a, that's an area about inaweza fanya Mungu akulaani. So unakuta ukicheck those areas you solve them. There's an area ambao inaweza fanya Mungu aniache. Inaweza fanya Mungu. The third part cause stronghold ni makao makuu ya nguvu fulani. Like now stronghold ya Kenya ni Nairobi kama mjui. Mtu akitaka kupindua serikali ya Kenya kama hajashika Mombasa Nairobi na Kuru those big cities kama hujashika Nairobi uhuru wa gari mkubwa <laughs> so stronghold ni makao makuu ya serikali makao makuu ya utawara makao makuu ya nguvu fulani amen jiu akaikawa na makao makuu that's why paulo sita aya 12 anaanza na kusema we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers principalities and powers ni makao makuu ya nguvu fulani principality and we need also to handle that so ukitaka kujua you are growing devotionally you destroy strongholds kuna maudhaifu uko nao itaenda ukipambana nazo na kuna laana ya kifamili kuna laana ya maisha kuna ngome fulani ambao imekuwa ikikuida miaka yote and you really fight against it that is devotional growth na devotional growth mwana tatu ni hali yako ya kutumikia bwana your worship life the way you respond to god worship life worship worship sasa is response to god vile unaenda mbele za bwana na kutoa dhabihu zako worship is all inclusive sio tu kuinua mikosa ya mababa na kupenda baba worship ni vile wewe hutokea mbele za mungu for instance mungu daima hata kama uko vipi atadai uje mbele zake kuja bere za bwana kuja that's why alipobariki kaini akawa mkulima ebo akawa mfugaji baba samaje na jehova akawaita waje bere zake watoe fast fruit the way utatoa your fast fruit that is worship sasa unaona you know wasa kuta mzee amekaa katika miaka 20 na anapatia sadaka 50 shillings Ukifikiri vile niko na suti nimefika elfu ukiangalia na huwa wanakuja kuja mpaka wanaingiza ndani na wale ambao mnaenda makanisa ambao sadaka iko kwa bishop hivi usiingize mkono ndani utafanya watu wafikirie you are not good you don't have to wasafikia labda umetoka na ingine 
kama hilo ndio chochote weka mkono juu agusha hapo sadaka you don't have kuingiza mkono mpaka unaguza pesa za wengine na wewe sio treasure mtu amekuja na wengine wanaoingiza hivyo kichagua ni vile attack tusikia ni hardware ile ragazi ya Ford kupatia Mungu shiriki 200 kama tutafuta eh that is Corinthian first Corinthians verse 1 eh tangu mwanzo wa mwiki mtu aweke kando sada sadaka eh praise the lord mhm mm eh, that is what you are group past two name was two uh -huh. on the first day of the week let each one of you ah uh, amen uh, each, each one uh, eh hey. wewe utaki mkono wangu barikiwa ah so mbibi za zetu let you one uh, uh, let each one of you lay something aside stalling up as he may prosper that there will be no correction i come Paul was talking about offering about ilikuwa inachangwa. Kuna sadaka ilikuwa inachangwa alafu ilikuwa inaperekewa makanisa ya Judea. Kulikuwa na jaa eh makanisa ya Jerusalem. So Paul agenda makanisani anapewa sadaka ilikuwa inatumwa kusaidia watu na wadada kule Jerusalem na wengine. So anasema please stack mustukie sadaka. Mtu awe ameweka aside. Let me something on Monday ulipoa kitu If God give me 1000 100 fugura 10 another 100 kwa mimi nakaka nazaka 100 or 200 I don't I, I think me minimum is where the chini ya 50 kama umepewa 1000 na Mungu 100 fugura 10 sadaka don't go bro draw 50 it can't work weka kado Tuesday nikapewa 500 kuna sadaka niweka kado Wednesday kama unaheshimu Mungu kila siku by Sunday Mungu atajua you are worshiper God you know you are worshiper kwa maana ulikuwa una tangu Monday umejiada kuja mbele za Mungu lakini hali ya kustukia sadi he eh, when hata hapo tuna watu wakia wana kidoe people who really don't worship devotional growth involve worship worship ni the way unaenda mbele za Mungu kumtumikia na kumtolea dhabihu. Amen. Kuna mtu akiiba sika Mungu anaibia. Kuna mtu fugura kumi. There are people abaye the way una behave kanisani is as if God is not real. Now, dio kaini akataliwe na ebo akubarike. All had chance to worship through fast fruit moja akatoa katika wanyama wanyama uzao wa kwanza akachija akatoa nyama zilizonona nono akatolea bwana mwingine si fast fruit alitoa kaini hakutoa fast fruit mungu alidai uzao wa kwanza let me say something i don't know kama unajua kwamba anytime unaajiriwa within a month Mungu ata anagoja before mwezi wisha kabia end of this month nilete uzao wa kwanza I don't know kama najua kwa nini biashara hapa what people fail nakuta mtu ameanza biashara mwezi wa kwanza imeenda juu what people imeenda juu watatu inaanguka na hata tukikuwa bea hainuki tena kwa maana you never give fast fruit that business never worshiped biashara hiyo haikuabudu Mungu ali eh, Mungu alibariki hao wewe ni mkulima wewe una kondoo immediately before we the bali because Mungu aziitisha uzao wa kwanza wakati umekaa sana Mungu alipojua sasa amebariki sana can you before we go far kile mmepata kwanza cha maana niletewe ndio nitembee na hizi biashara I want the fast fruit. Sasa Ebo alijua akakubalika sadaka yake. Kaini haku hata hakujali 
akakataliwa na sadaka kile kilichakaza ni kwamba Mungu akatai tu sadaka abudu atatakata abudu never be deceived kwa kitoa sadaka kwa jinsi ya heshima ati ni sadaka ikubariki peke yake it is sadaka and you na hebu niwaambie i don't know what we shall do mimi naamini katika ibada hapa watakiwa kutoka na utajiri wa wiki hii lakini kama ni na Mungu huwa mimi kisha Mungu huwa anajijua na ananijua na anajijua two things Mungu anakujua na anajijua like now Mungu akiulizwa ni pesa gani amepatia bishop wiki hii anajua the same same god dia ana, anaenda kwa madhabahu sadi anasema latimo ni abudu haraka aliyekuwa nami akinipa die yeye huja anasema nataka ibada so you can't deceive god why anakujua na anajijua na mugu anajua heshima yake you can't deceive god see wewe unafanya mungu awe wa heshima already mungu anajua heshima yake hallelujah na hawezi muabudu vile unataka utamuabudu vile alivyo you can only worship god the way he is not the way you feel Ah, praise God. So, devotional growth involves worship. Haya. Tuseme tunada crusade. Na wea diyo naogosa crusade. How do you prepare kusimama hapo kwa crusade uogosa? Kamo tasutukia tu Mike, ukoroge mabo hapo, mungu watajua kuna ujaja kwa hiyo mkutano. Kuna nini? Ujaja. You are not original. Asia kama ndo. Mimi nimeahi kwenda mkutano, nyimbo zikaogozwa. Nikasema isipokuwa mimi ni bishop, ningeenda nje. Hapa kuna watu wamejipaka wa praise. Mwenye aliasa kuogoza, unakuta that man or that sister was prepared. Hey, unasikia kabisa I want to pray. Wacha wapili aingie. Asa Already tulikuwa tumesifu tutataka kuinamia bwana. Asema hii simameni. Ruka kidogo. Sasa kuruka ndio ilikuwa ni maisha kuruka. Tebea naye. Sasa ni mazoezi si simbo. Tebea naye Yesu kwa igwali wa nusho. Tremka, tremka. Ruka. Sasa watu kama sisi uh, twataka real worship. Real. Sasa unapata huyu msichana. Ah ah ah. Wacha amalize huyu sasa watatu naye watatu analeta wibo ambao ako off key key ya keyboard na yake hata mtu wa keyboard ajaribu kum mtu wa keyboard akimkaribia na anapotea tena sasa you see hao watu hawakuwa wamejiandaa kuja beleza nani za Mungu Kile, what are they doing before God kwani lazima Mungu atumikiwe hivyo Lazima Mungu apewe tu kile mtu anafikiria. Mungu anajijua. He knows ni ibada gani anahitaji. He knows. That's why mtu ambaye you are growing devotionally watakiwa kukua katika worship. Uko kwa kwaya. Hata huku jiadana wengine. Na hiyo kwaya unaweza iba leo kesho uache. Let me tell you Ukifikini kazi ya mtu utashangaa. Huwezi shika kazi ya Mungu hivi na uwe kwamba utatumika upedavyo usipopenda. Mutaisha. That's why sometimes I wonder why do we have people in the church tumekuwa nae for many many years and are not prospering. Is the way you worship. Unakuta huyu dada alikuwa wa anointed voices. Sikuiza ana hata na shukuri. Huyu alikuwa apiras. Na wanaiba hapa na ameketi. Haya, unakuta mtu mwingine ulisikia kama alikuwa mulevi. Na kwa ikiiba ametokea madhabahu. Is a sip mugo hakuona ukiwa mulevi. E, Nina swali kidogo, why a wale watu wanatumikia Mungu? Wanaanza kuisha. Because una, we should grow in worship. Na Mungu anajijua na anakujua. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Jia ingine ambao unatakiwa kukua nae. Inatakiwa iwa katika division growth. Is removing idols in your life. Kutoa sanamu katika maisha yako. Remove idols. An idol, idol God, ni kitu chochote kinasimama pahara pa mungu au kinachukua heshima ya mungu. Anything that's third in the place of God or takes the glory about mungu amepewa is an idol. Tukitaka kujua mekoma, remove the idols. Idol. I-D-O-L. Chochote kinasimama pahara pa mungu au kinasimama kinachukua utukufu wa bawa mungu wa mekagepewa. Unakuta dada ulipo wakoka, wewe ulikuwa mtu wakweda mikutano sande, sande, saa nane, huwezi patikana crusade, kuna kikudi, kuna chama. Kuna watu hata ukiagalia ibada ya kwa sahishi. Anachoboka na bag ni kama mpigiwa simu. Hakapoeshe moto. Jogorud. Na ni chama. Let me tell you. Why don't you join circle? Usafe pesa zako chukwe runi yako. You don't need to. You don't need chama. You know wana. You know, how can we do this, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Tukutane kwa huyu tutoe kila mutu elfu moja moja. Januari. Kwa huyu elfu moja moja. Ni kama vile tu kama ugekona discipline. Ugeweka elfu moja kila muwezi. Tukweke hapa. Badraya kupewa elfu kuminambini. Hello, praise God. Mwisho wa muaka, tukupatie loan ya 36,000. You see, ukija hapa, utapewa loan, mara tatu au mara bili ya ili pesa wa meweka. Interest ni kidogo. Na katika hii matebezi, pia wanaigiliana. Hau takosa mtu mjaja katika hati yao. Abao, ata sukuma hao watu hivi hivi badaye, achomoke. Na unajua leo kienda kotini. Umekopesha mtu pesa. Do you know the law they apply? They say, serikali inatabua tu bank. Na sako. It's very serious money. I nini mupa pesa yangu. Kabia, according to the law, we hukopeshi pesa. Ni bank au sako. Au wende useme, tukona chama, ya kubadisha pesa. Sama no, 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 no. Inaituaji self-help. There is no way self-help group ina kubadisha na pesa. It's very easy to lose money. So be very careful. Koma katika odoeni idols. Chochote abacho kinachukua pahara pa mungu. Au ule utukufu mungu wakepewa. Kilichukua. Remove. Na ijulikane kwamba hakika umebadrika. Now, I just want to... Buwana aswe sana. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna kitu kinaitua relational growth. Relational growth. Relational growth. Relational ni R-E... L-O-A-T-I-O-N-E-L Growth Kukua katika hali ya uhusiano Sikiza, uhusiano na wengine Na uhusiano na dunia You relate to other people You relate to your own self You relate to the world How do you live in relation? Unaishije katika maisha inaitwa uhusiano uhusiano the more mtu anazidi kuishi the more uwezo wako 
wa kushirikiana au kuhusika unalainika na unabadilika na unakuwa stable haleluya unakuta kwamba haya ulipokuwa mtu wa miaka 20 the meaning of a friend meaning of a ni kutembeleana kuogea stories na kuona movies together at the age of 25 maana ya jina rafiki inabadilika nasikia jimi 25 ni hivi unakuta kijana kama kile nakwambia jimi already sasa 25 already uko na pesa kidogo kile nakwambia jimi ningetaka uje tukaone my mother ni mgojwa Mwambie Jimmy na Kennedy tuite na Hashon na Mama Faith tuugane pamoja tuchage kitu tulipie mama uh, mama ya Kennedy eh, nini eh, bill You see it has a deeper meaning sio kuketi na kuongea na kuona movie ni urafiki that has a meaning to life Sasa wa mama si mkomae katika hali ya relation me I don't like I, I, I don't know kama mnajua kwamba at the only thing you do ni kuketi kuongea story for two hours I think that should change Iwe kwamba tulikuwa na appointment na my friend hapa sababu kuna jambo angetaka one time nilitembelea mtu anaitwa Jeka Karume mara mbili nikamtembelea akiwa minister wa defense Uh, wakati huo kwenda defense headquarter ni somebody said ngumu kuliko kwenda bigudi jamani una una ilibidi apige simu and then natukujuana sana that time and then akasema wewe wewe bishop wa Nairobi wewe wewe na kuhitaji tu nani i don't know what what he saw in me and then the second time we met in jakarada jenga hamwezi kada katano hamunge kada katano kama huna kitu mnakuza na jenga hage kuona mara moja asahau wewe ni nani we very sharp here dakika tano ila kusaidia au umsaidie lakini sio stories na age switch on very easily kwa jabra maana na na kuheshimu dakika tano ilikuwa inatosha mupanga mpango akusaidia na alikuwa anataka kusaidia sasa unaona mashaba kama akina gema hii alikuwa anachukua eh unataka shaba wapi ungetaka kama ana sasa yeye labda ungetaka nikusaidieje kuna bank ukataka kuchukua loan imekusemea ni wapi wewe rafiki yangu tuongee lazima lazima muongee kitu faida iko shaba unataka nini yani alikuwa anakuchokoza lakini kukamwambia nimekuja kukusalimia tukunywa kahawa ya nini sasa urafiki mwingine the more you grow the more the meaning ya kukutana na mtu muongee inabadilika. Haleluya. Bereni mgekaa mama wawili mnaongea stories za ume zenu, watoto nini that should change. Uh, within two years it is changing. Unakuta wewe uko na biashara Jogorod. Mwingine ako na nyuki. Wasema nataka tukutane. Kuna kitu nimegudua. Nimeona shaba rumruti nataka tuongee hiyo it has a meaning you should grow in relation grow in bereni huge we bereni huge weka manafiki miaka 2 kwa maana kwa sababu wewe unajua kuna watu ambao hawajui same this my friend kuna watu ufikiria kuwa rafiki na Aaron ni kumjua sana na kumuingilia me don't like that I don't like that. I don't like. Mimi spedagi ku ati kuuliza mtu like naye huyu ni kumuingilia mambo yake. Na sana sana watu hawaigili wasaidie. Ni umujue sana. Eh eh uko na material make. <laughs> umujue. Dio tu ukao ukiwa na mujua kuingilia mtu i don't like mimi mimi wanaogopa some meetings 
Vila tunakaa pamoja hivi. Uh, unakuta kuna wazee wamekaa pamoja masaa mawili. Kungunguana. Doing what? Situende twende situende kazi bwana. Twende kazi kama tunaenda. Hello praise the Lord. Kwa tunaenda upenea tu tu ubiri. I like explosive things. Let's do something together. Haya, we say katika hali ya uhusiano. Wewe ni rafiki ya mtu na wewe utajua mtu pahali ambapo ako free kukuambia. Kama huyu ako free kuniambia kuhusu geduku kata geduku. Ni yeye ameona ako free kuniambia. Ni mjue mpaka mahali ako free kunia kuniambia. Amen. Don't force yourself into people. Kwa maana I have so many things to do. I don't need to know to know you lilala wapi kitara ina kitara ina kama gani. I have so many things to do. Miaka inaenda, bado na miaka inaenda. Sasa ukichukua material nyingi za watu, huyu huwa anapumua hewa nyingi. Huyu mzee sana nani humpiga? Kama anapigwa na atroki kwa kwake, si wanapendana. Na kama hakuripoti kwa kwa amepigwa, watu ni sikao tuakiongea. Hakuna shida, acha watakuwa wajua kwetu. When my mother was a bit sick, after I when my dad died, I my sisters. Taki kusikia nini? Muto na pigia mama simu kumambia muzee ni mbaya. Nini ni wakubwa mama mezeeka? Who can handle issues? They are the strong people. Kuna watu fikiria hapa, mama yako alie kuzaa, mama alika hii. Kumpigia simu muambia taka taka yote na matope yote ya, yote ya kwako, tili unashea. Mama hako habi nitamuambia. Mama kama huyu, kama wedi binti yake. Kumuambia muzea kupeka kupedi. Eh, jana likuchapa. Eh, last week alikunyima upendo. Unaena wana. Unamua, afanya nini sasa? Unaona vya miaka inaenda. Afanya nini? Sini kustuka tata stuka. Espele kama sasa baba, kama sasa agekua mama yako na baba yake. Ali, baba yenu aliyaga. Asa tauliza, I wish baba ya hawa kakua hai. Uwata kujeka. What do you do? Where kuja kwa go mimi dio? Where kuja tuoge? I be a bishop. Kile ki kile ki mwana wa nipa kile chapa. Nitakudia. To your mother give hope. To bishop bring problems. Mimi ukiniambia ni chapo mimi husikia sasa kazi mea. Ukiniambia kuna daimono kwako mimi nijigua kazi imeanza. Ukiambia kuna daimono hajui kama nikuruka juu au nikulia. Uh, praise the Lord. Ukiniambia kuna kijana yako jana alitoroka. Mimi husikia sasa kazi yangu imeanza. Imeanza. That is my calling. Beta hiyo. Lakini kwa baba yako hakuwa na miaka 90. Mwambie alitoroka lakini alipatikana. That's what builds up. Ili asikojeke. We katika relations pad. Let's change. Tubadili Tubadrike, hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana inuliwe. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati tulikuwa tunaheda family come together. Na proposal ikaja, tuwe tunachaga pesa. Ikaja, tuwaze sako. Kufika hiyo levo, ikaza kuharibika. Kwa mwana ikifika pesa. Kufika pesa. Brother yako, si brother. Kifika pesa. Unachukua muku. Kule mgea mechukua roni na muku jua. Kama misi kuchukua roni ya yote. <laughs> Lakini kwa watu wali chukua. Roni ya mechukua. Hey. Nani ipitisha? Alinyemelea. <laughs> Ikifika pesa. Nikubaya. Nikasema iyo sako. Ifugwe pesa tumuto rudizwe sake. Tukae vile tulikuwa bereni. Tunakura pa moja. Watoto wa baba moja. Mama moja. Tunacharekea. Nikasema in case mutu wakua na ishu. Tukutane tujitolee. Lakini maumengine tuwa. Ili tuwe na usiano ule ukona roots. Vile tulijua. Relational growth. Relational growth. Bwana asifiwe. Like now tuko mwezo wa December. Wewe kama wewe diyo fasti bon kwenu. Au hoteba. Mutu alie koma usema. Watu watu wa family. Tafuteni siku December hii. Moja kwetu tu tukule na nyinyi na tuwape pamoja. 
you are growing in relation. Uweza sababisha watu wakutano wa family na muwape pamoja, watoto wajuane, wajuku wajuane, na wangapu mwete. Nenona baba, hasa baba jeria meza kufikiria, hile busi atachija. Awa hite tu, sidiyo jeri, hata hata chija, akaya hapo tu. Eh? Akina pilot wacheze hapo, akina joy, wakiruka ruka, muzea sikie zaza huku ni kuzuri. Jioni, aseme, aseme, it was my happiest night I slept well. Relational growth. Watu wanakaka, unakuta kuna family. Vile walichukiana, baba yako na anikuwa walichukiana na hata walikuwa narokana. Hata nyinyi muna hiyo maroho. Unakuta you can't meet, unakuta adwi yako mkubwa is your cousin. Unakuta adwi yako mkubwa ni your sister. Kwa maana, mulipata family about misigi yake ni uchawi. Misingi yake ni demonic powers. Kwa hapa your mother hawezi salimia anti yako. Nenye muka ingizwa hiyo. As you grow, tulisema katika hile ya kwaza, different growth. As you grow, destroy strongholds. There should be a prophet katika ya uzawa your family. Aseme, things will not be this way. Amen. Nenye muka sikumoja ni ya muka ni kasema, mami, mam, naeta pariflani. Kasema mwana Uweda huko na wa wantu di wa tantu tafta tuwe Utarudi uki wai Nikabia mama yangu Lewa hata sikuli breakfast hapa Nakura huko kwa maadui Hata in the morning Na nikaeda kasema munipiki haraka Na nilikura hata siku kufa And I was It was interesting My grandfather Ni mpata hapo Na likuwa mkojwa sana Mkojwa Nikampatia giritano. Haka neambia katimo. Kwa sababu, nasikia naeza kufa in a time. Numekuja kunia nikuwa mgojwa. Sitake kufa kama sitake kupatia kitu. Haka neambia kuna chaba hiko karibu na maduka. Si hiko kule chini. Na maduka. Nilikuwa timepewa wakati wa sijua imaja ya nisejuyo nini. Nataka uja nikupe hiyo. Nasikuwa na gari. The following day, sikurudi. Hata nikabia zawa. Bible study ya made. Baba Franco Fudisha. Kumetokea jabu wabwa hezi epukika. Busele za na the time. I'm the only person my grandfather. Aliacha amepea title hivi. Na alikuwa taku nipatia ingine ya katatu. Tudiena na ea na jikonjolea. Kure muranga, RAS office. Na beba. Niko peke yangu. Kupia kwa lads. Nikapata muze mboja na nijua. Na ni mkubwa. Wewe mchugaji. Niambie ni katika mashaba huu muze. Ni gani unataka? Ni hii. Nipe fotokopia ID. Nipe fotokopia huyo. Saini hapa. Akabia wewe rudisha huu muze nyumbani. Edo kahubiri. Aka niambia utapata taito deed kwenu. Itaweza kwa nyumbani. Taita huko. Taipata within two. Na ikuwa ni within two weeks. Ni hapa mama yangu. We, kuna muzi ya meza taito di yako. Na yudi yulikuwa yagu ya kwaza kupata. Unafiki sina kapa kuzina kataito di. Kambwa nja kayuka. Kayuka kupewa. Sasa, sikizeni. Ni mahali ambapo hawa watu hatu sikizani sometime. Unambua labdo kienda wata maadui. Lakini unawana sasa nilikoma. Naziku wawa. Nitoka na faida. Ninaka yorimo wa shi ya lile mwe. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Yesu wa inuliwe. Unapatu kwa fami sato mekoma. Some of the family people are about tulikuwa tusikizani. Unambua fulani ya meaka. Sasa nakunya matanga. Nasema nitalipa hii na hii na hii. Wanaona the other face ya mtu alia koma. Another face ya mtu alia okoka. Musigi wangu sila ana ya uko. Hallelujah. Glow in relations. Hallelujah. We beleni hugeweka na fiki miyakabiri. 
Kwa maana we ni mtu wa kuingilia, mtu kuingilia, kuchipa chipa. Kwa maana ujue what it means to have a friend. Friend si kuingilia mtu. Friend ni kuheshimiana. Unaheshimu mtu. Like now who's a who wanna go back to Kuna I don't know what you mean by friendship in this church. Friendship number 1 who you never put things at the same level. Number 1 urafiki wa kwanza ni dugu katika Kristo. That's more powerful. Kuliko urafiki wa kawaida. Do you know why hiyo hiyo ni maana? Leo huyu akiwa anashia nimpatia 1200 kama brother in Christ is much better kuliko kumpatia kama rafiki. Nikimpa kama rafiki nitagojea na yeye pia sikumja nipe. Nikimpa kama brother in Christ is a ministry to him. Ninafanya ikiwa huduma. So Mungu akiniambia bishop Mungu akubariki it's enough. I like that level. Is much better. Is much better. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna kijana moja alikuwa na anapeleka dawari. Nikakopa pesa. Siku na anything. I think I bought some 60,000. Nikamagia, brother, I give you this because of the blood of Christ. Sisemi ukioa unipe anything. Hata usipo ni alika koko ni kule. This is powerful. Lakini urafiki itabidi hivi. Nikupe. Alafu, wakati itatagaza kwa baka na shida, nitagojea sana. Nionia taguzo hapi. So, nakuta ini ni kama nindeni. Na kama hana. Hello, praise the Lord. Na kama hana. Praise the Lord. Kuna mengine urafiki ni kutebeleana. Jioni. Muna cheta kwenye ya wae. Sometimes that one is good, but it's not really necessary. Necessary. Buana saidia sana. Relational growth. Relational growth also in Ausika, the proper use of time. Proper use of time. Ukita kujua unakoma katika mamba ya Ausiano relations. Umeaza kupata faida kubwa katika the way you use time. Masata ikibaki the way you use time. Kwamba, we normally tell people, live every day with a commitment to responsibility. Kuna masani metumia na nikashukuru mungu majukumu imetimia. Kuna majukumu ya leo ya metimia. Majukumu fulani imetimia. Buwana aswe sana. Huwa napigia umu zee simu. Saa kumi na bili huwa kwa kazini. Saa kumi na bili. Andi kwa mbila, brother, when do you wake up? Wabila, bishop, taa kunja ni robi. Mimu wa mbila saa kumi. Saa kumi. Akisi kuhisi umea, miaka imeenda. Ugali hiyo masa. Unasoka tu. Saa kumi, saa kumi na moja kwa kazini. Saa kumi na bili, wadili kumbia kwa kazini. Saa mbili ya meuza, saa tatu hata amemaliza. Ako kwa mijeko kusijui huko na unamkuta. Faite meingia kubwa sasa unamkuta meacha. Siji wa nani ufinye kazi. Ako, ako sijui na saa hizi unamusikia kwa saidiza kuwetu na angalia hewa ya Rika Road. <laughs> saa hiyo sasa nawe diyo naamuka. Wakati wegine. Do you know kama kuna mutu? Haya, wala watu muko na hose u. Na unauzia watu national wide. For instance, watu kama wale wanauza kama koji, area hii, na hose. Unakuta, watu utoka bugoma, mabasi ya bugoma vika sagapi Nairobi, asubuhi, dio achukue muzigo apage vizuri, ikiweze kana, arudi na basi ya satatu. Na ukewa ukweli? Sasa, you can't be a supplier wa watu serious kama hoye hulala sana. Atapata muziku wabari buku, it is lady. Pesa, diyo hii. Arafu, anasidikisho mpaka kwa stage, anasikia mzuri. Wara watu hawajuku kutumia masaa, unakuta kwamba, kile kitu ugefanya saa kumina bili, na saa bili, na saa moja, unataka kufanya saa tatu, yote mamane. What do you happen? 
hatukubwa hivyo tuliubwa tuwe na program utakuta kwamba you are so confused na kama umeajiri watu umai kuajiriwa na mtu ambao ako confused mugo unakuta ile kitu mkafanya saa 12 saa moja, saa bili, anakuja kufanya mfanye saa tatu. na ndiye bosi yako anataka ufuge kaba anataka umpikie chai anataka uoshe cho anataka kukutuma sete ho karipe bill within one hour na anakutusi huna akili wewe mvivu na ameingia saa tatu. hata nyi wa mama mna ajili house girl you know some of the house girls are tortured wa mama eh amepata katoto kukutawala i don't I don't like the way muna treat house. House girl si kazi nzuri. Anakuja kwa sababu hana kwao. Ametoka katika tabu kubwa. Number one, they should be paid well. Number two, house girl hatakiwi akae kwako atoke aende kwa street au arudi nyumbani akateseke. Mpatie nafasi jioni aende training. Keti na kidogo mfundishe business. Mwambie ukitoka hapa, nikataka uwe na mtu wa maana. Don't, don't. Mutu abaya ana exist na wewe in the family ni tofauti na ule ameajiriwa dukani. Mutu na wacha nyumbani na funguo za kwako, kitchen ya kwako, achuke mtoto wako, aangalie nyumba mahali unaweka document zako. Huyo mtu ni mkubwa sana. And yet we mistreat them. Tai hutabarikiwa. Hiyo ni shida. Do no buy mnaongea kuhusu kutesa poor. If you torture the poor God will not be good to you. Bana inue sana. Sasa msichana huyu unataka asubuhi. Na you women should be very careful. Apike chai, apike mayai, adae watoto. The only thing you do, you are, we mama, ni kuamuka, unaoga, uketi, we served. Dia dia da watoto. Dia hata amepika. You are work. Kwa sababu unafanya kazi ni uketi, upewe mayai hata mume wako apewe ona adri hakiri that is torture kuna maisha mengine si ya dunia hii labda ni ya, ni ya pre no pre jahanam pre <laughs> pre jahanam <laughs> you can do that to such an cow mwingine hata mtaka ishaji hajui kupika why don't you stay with her in kitchen and mentor her Mentorship means walking with somebody in the journey of life. Amen. Mufudishe kupika. Mufudishe mpe hope kwa ba one time atakuwa na nyumba kama hiyo konae. Mentor. Because huyu ako kwa nyumba ni tofauti sana na uri wa meajiri kwa duka. House girls are sensitive. Tudikia isho itokea uhuru. Tukia uhuru estate kamoja kalikalikuwa na ukimi kalikasirika na kalijua vile kataweka damu yake kwa watoto and uh, things happened hapa she was able kuweka virus kwa two children na kakataroka mimi i believe house gawa kija kwetu apate yesu na okoke bila kulazimishwa apate tu Yesu mimi we have never had any house girl who never joined apostolic faith ule tuko naye alikuwa PCA alikuja within a month ni mpatiza ndani ya maji why she found faith lifestyle righteousness amen praise the lord anajua hiyo nyumba watu wameokoka wameokoka and now but there's hope there's kuna mmoja alijaribu kutoroka atalienda akaza bishop nimerudi mungu ameniambia nitalaaniwa nikitoka hapa kwa nini nilikuwa nilikuwa nikae mpaka utakaponibariki so kwa nyumba ananijua kama prophet kama kohani niliamba you carry my blessings kabia basi enda ona mama dongo kae ni huko na kana ka sasa alitoka i we didn't know what she meant because after some years alitorewa kwetu 
akiolewa. <laughs> and now we, and they are doing well. Praise the Lord. Grow in relationship. Kuwa katika uhusiano. Hallelujah. Na bwana bariki. Katika hali ya uhusiano also, kuleto nito self-esteem, self-esteem, self-esteem. Self-esteem ni mutu kukua katika hali ya kujengeka kule ndani, kujifahamu ndani. Na ndani yako kuwa kuna maana na kuna nguvu. Wewe mwenyewe waweza kaa hivi na uzae kitu. Moyo wako waweza zaa kitu. You are so powerful inside. Ni kama umebeba utajiri kwamba moyo wako unaweza hata anzisha biashara unaweza ita huyu na huyu na huyu na muanze nini biashara you are producer ndani yako kuna ile motivation kwamba waweza keti tu hivi badala ya kukaa kama mtu ambaye hajielewi moyo wako unabubujika na ideas you can reach out with the treasure and confidence of your heart Bwana asiwe sana. Mimi si mtu ambaye naweza lia ovyo ovyo au niwe mtu ambaye anaweza kosa mwelekeo nimejegeka ndani nina moyo wa kuishi nina moyo wa kuishi build your heart build it build it mpaka we mwenyewe ukikaa unasikia nina maana ya kuishi nina nguvu ya kuishi jambo lingine katika hali ya ku mm-hmm. Ni vile unakaa na relatives the way you live with the relatives na kama una wazazi the way unakaa na wazazi ukitaka kujua mtu amekoma muangalie vile yeye na wazazi wake wana hata kama wazazi wako ni kama ule your mom utaka kujua amekoma i check the way you live with your mom kiuno mtu mzazi wake ako hai na hajui kukaa na mzazi hata kama ni bishop hata kama ni leader au unajua anaitwaje unajua hajakoma ukiona dada ameolewa na unakosana na mother in law kila wakati wewe uko na shida mahali umeolewa anaweza pata mama eh hey mama muzela ambaye hana akili hiyo sio kazi yako the only thing you know ni kwamba huyu ndiye mzazi wa mume wangu full stop. Ah sasa cha naye. Unamheshimu. Una, unajua kuna a man who married my sister and my mother alikuwa my, my dad alikuwa mlevi. Na baba yangu atakuwa mlevi au geje afanyeje. That man aliheshimu baba yangu. Aga mchukua kwa mlevi ama kwa gari wanao. Hata kimsupua kwa mlevi amusupue that man could take hours baba na musubua na na shida kaza hii brother wewe ni baba na kusubua sema huyu die baba wa mke ambao nimeoa you can't talk about ni mlevi hana akili huogea sana haga ogea hiyo one one item ni baba ya mke ambao nilioa taso mambo ya ku discuss kwamba eh hey, mali niliolewa mama huyu hanipedi ha, sasa na mama muzee na goja Yesu arudi si ukae kidogo Yesu uh, Yesu amuite the only thing you offer to her upendo maombi muangalie mali unaweza muheshimu mambo ya kwamba yeye na macho ingine naangalia Jupiter ingine Venus eh, wacha naye kama hutatibu macho acha ika hivyo let your children know that woman is your grand mother mupelekeni kiatu rafu murudi basi wapate tu baraka do you know relation ya wazazi iko na blessings mzazi hata asipoongea ukimweka vizuri hiyo tu kwekwa vizuri itaongea itaongea tu itaongea tu itaongea tu praise god bwana asante sana hata kama ulipeleka hospitali au ni ende tu na bahasha kumwambia unajua wa, wazazi wazee hupenda pesa hupenda pesa unajua alikuwa na pesa alikuwa kijana do you know that 
your dad ukimpa giri kumi. Asikie mfuko ukona joto. Ha, tatabi sana. Kati kwa vuka. Niki kuyatea guo, nikose bahasha. Guo siyo, shida siba, sasa shida si guo. Nika bahasha ambao, waya zamuka useme, <coughs> uh, chukua hii, mia leta kajama pale. Usikia vizuri wakua, arabu kia damu kutano pale na wazewe ngine, wahapa uh, wakirapon, kuna jirani ya mutatoka meaga, unawezo wakutowa giringapi, mbili. They like money. <laughs> Mwai mwache kitoko hapo. Amen. Bwana so sana. <laughs> Iko moja ni ipata kapia bishop, can I talk to yes? Uh, kwetu kuna shira kini sina shira. Yee, ameenda pahari duka tuko karibu na kwao. Very good butchery. Akasema na baba yangu kila siku mumake sure amekula kitu hapa. Tuko nikilipa. Na nikakebe, why do you say you baba yako apikiwa nyamacha mocha kitu hapo? Sema Bishop sita kuficha. Tangu ni kwa mdogo. Mama yangu hutesa my dad. Na hasa haumpicha kura. Enye haoge hiyo sana. Lakimi ni muuliza. So, maisha na itaji relational growth. Habari enu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Na... Aha. Uh -huh. Now the issue. Now, it has so many things. It has so many things. It has so many things. Ah, uh, katika hali ya relation, kuna hii hali ya capacity to adapt. Capacity to adapt. Adapting. Uh, I remember one time kuna kitu tulisoma. I think it's a, it's a branch of biology. In it ecology, ecology. Na I, I, I read some I can say Munyama Akiamia Pahari Papia. Either a Zoe Ahame Awakufe. Adapt, migrate, or die. Uh, are you understanding? Adapt, migrate, or die. Nakwamana muga mesema to takufa. Hello? Haya. Sini tatu? Moja ni nani? Uzoe, uhame, au kufe. Haya. Ebu tuwagalia hile tutafanya. Hatu akufa. Simeriko hatu akufa. I will not die but I will live. Tuwadoe hiyo. Amen? Bwana susana. Haya. Na kuhama. Hatu tahama. Mpaka wakati ufao ufike. Hello. Praise God. Kama huyu wameorewa ni kiabu, ni wapi, ni kubuki, uwa, ulipereka wapi, wameorewa wapi, wameorewa na wewe. Haya, tuseme wameorewa na kefadhi. Sasa, siuri hapa, tulikuwa na hapa, oh, nisahau. Na kupokea wewe, ulimutaji kwa harusi, nisahau. John kefadhi. Na kupokea, uwe mwume wangu wadoa. Harafu kapa. <laughs> ni kupende, ni kutii. Niko heshimu. Rafu kasema wakati wa magonjwa au afya. Mkikagalia mambo ya vao ya harusi, you do with the extremes. You, marriage vow, it has extremes. Unaapa na magonjwa au afya, jema. <laughs> Unaapa na umaskini au utajiri. Hello, praise God. Unapa na mabaya au mema. Never forget. Uriapa na mabaya au mema. <laughs> Kufanikiwa au umaskini. Magonjwa au afya jema. Arabu, nyumai hapa sema, katika hizo hali, ni kupende, ni kuti, ni kuheshimu, ni kutuze, ni kishirikiana wewe. Katika yote nilio na leo, ata makucha na nini. Na yote takao kuwa na. Kulika na naamu, itaka tifu ya mungu. Wae. Iyo kitu na tuambia mfanya, na muna semaga, mufikiria sana kile mulionge hapa. Sasa, nukasema, mpaka kifo, kitu te 
Ukaunganishe. Au maybe Kristo arudi tukiwa hai. Ni kuhama sasa baada hiyo kiapo kwa ile mwanaume ni kuhama ni kuzoea au ni kukufa basi tukubali kuzoea adapting kuzoa hatutahama hatutakafa hatutakufa tutaishi no kitu kimoja kinacho onyesha mtu amekomaa ukieta pahali you are able to develop power to live power to survive you are able you are able you are able wewe hupabana na forces of death wewe hupabana na umaskini hupabana na ubaya ili uishi hallelujah i always feel good nikigia kwa kufuta kwa mama wamepaga laini hapa kwa kwa sako unajua umekujaje hata mimi hupaga laini last time nilipaga nikasema ni kwa nyuma yenu mimi nimeba Unakuta mama amekuja kabia umeja nimekuja kulipa loni. Aha. Wa mama wengine ambao beneni unakuwa naona hajui afanyaje. Unakuta kaka ako na tupesa amefi, amepata 200 kuya kulipa. Kuya kulipa. Ni wakati hapo hakuna pesa sana lakini hizo pesa zimepewa adabu paka zimtoe kwa umaskini. Hallelujah. You are able to develop capacity to adapt capacity to live kwa sababu watu wengine huwa watumwa kwa mahali wameenda ukienda pahali wakuambia una akili hiyo ndio imekuingia uenda pahali ukute watu huobaoba kwa majirani kila wakati na unaobaoba kwa majirani umeorewa kwa boma ambao watu wa hiyo boma hakuna hata mmoja amesoma na wanaamini kurogwa Lazima yuntujua news waambie wa Mkristo hezi rogwa we are covered amen hata kama hiyo bomba hakuna mtu ameenda university wale wao tazaa ma phd na nini mkiondoa wivu hamuhami unaambia watoto wako hakuna mtu atatueza hapa we are covered know how to change and live don't just conform amen Bana sasa sana. Kama hizi hizi nyumba za bahati hizi zilijengwa na 1952. Ni 52. Hizi zilijengwa kwa Mau Mau. 52 au 50 hapo. Na wakikuyu ndio waliweka hapa sana. Abo hawana wake. Ukiwa hiyo room room ni moja. Wale wazee walikuwa natolewa zile jera. Wageko wapi? Mama akae geshagi yako. Na na, na choi kwa hiyo. Hii nyumba haijajengwa vizuri. Wazugu wanajua hii si nyumba enda Britain Britain ile nyu Britain Britain vile mtu vile jimia ogeda Britain vile utapewa nyumba ile bavu unaongea is the same standard ya queen all people facilities are equal na nyumba inajegwa na standard ile serikali imepeana na kwao hawajegi hivi na hodi walijega hii Lazima baada kukaka. Useme nataka nyumba ambayo choo haiko hii. Nje. Sisi mko hapa ni vibaya. Sasa hivi wanataka kubomoa wajenge. Kuna watu hapa hawataki hiyo. Hawataki. Na ilianza na kuchorwa nyumba nyingine ya Chinese walikuwa wanataka kujenga hapa nyumba group group jini zate. Nyumba moja. The last iwe parking na hospitali. Hiyo ikapingwa. Sasa imechorwa nyingine hata hiyo anapinga na ujaja mwingine iko ndani bwana asifiwe sana <laughs> lazima ukienda pahali bring a church friends bring a church abia want to enemy as per now tuko hivi as per now tuko hivi lakini hatutaka hivi sisi zame huko ni kubaya huko ndio kwetu lakini si lazima sasa ukienda pahali uanze kuleta relational changes. Relational changes. Amen. Unakaa bahati lakini kuna kaplot roi. Nasema hii nyumba bahati nitapia ule kijana mkubwa. Hii gine tukae. So there are those factors. Kwamba 
Siendi kukaa vile huku kuna kaa. Ninaenda kuleta relational changes. Amen. Habari yenu. Kwa hivyo jia moja kujua unakomaa katika usiano is that you have a capacity to adopt. You have a capacity to adopt. Wewe si mtu kienda pahali mazingira inakuua. Mazingira yanakufanya mtumwa. You are able kutoa ndani yako power to live and to live well. Semeni amen. Bwana asifiwe. Tutaendelea sasa another time kuelewa mambo ya kukomaa. Growth. Leo umeelewa kitu? Umeelewa? That's what God agataka tuelewe leo asubuhi katika mafundisho hapa kanisani. Ah, uh, kuna ingine tutaona inaitwa si leo economic growth. Na ingine tunaita impact growth next time. Economic growth and impact growth. Those are so sad mja mapema we see what we can cover too by the grace of the living God. Kwa maana Bible nasema grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Na msiogope wapendwa, hey hey. Tutaenda bali. Tutaenda bali. West aza tu kufikiria hatua abazo. You may not anza kufikiria barabara ya kukomaa. Start making a step. Change your attitude. Amen. Oba mpaka kule ndani kutokea nguvu. Kutokea nguvu. Unajua naweza kuwa the other day tulikuwa kikope. Huwa kadiuliza, "Na bishop, hii mchoro, hii conference ilikuwa kwa kila nikamwambia na bado." Ohoi. Na mabia hii hostel gorofa ya mwisho itakuwa executive rooms. Odi kwa naziona. Si architect niambia ilichorwa vile Mungu aninangana. You see, waweza kuwa huko hivi. Lakini una michoro ndani, uko na plans ndani. Uko na nini? Michoro. You know the kind of bedroom unatakiwa kulala. You know the kind of sitting room unatakiwa kujenga. You know the kind of marriage unatakiwa kuwa in. Unajua. Unajua mtoto umezaa, anatakiwa kupuka. Yaani hata kama nimekaa hivi, in my heart Nina plans zimechorwa. Amen. Kwamba Mungu anajua na goja tu space. Space nizitoe. Niseme chora hii na hii. Where do we get it? It's in my heart. My heart is not void. Kuna vitu huku ndani nimechora. I like somebody about me. Umeiko na mtu ambaye ameketi na halali. Wewe Jamaa amekaa hivi si TV anaona. Unafikiriaje? Hasa si wanaume. Ha! Unakuta nimejenga nyumba inabaki tu roni. Nimeka ni tu hivi. Mmejenga. Haleluya. Nikikaka. Mimi nimezoea kuandika hata usiku. Kwa nini umeamka? He kuna kitu nimefikiria na nikisipo andika nitasahau nina sana ni usiku ninaandika because the mind is running 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 kuna mtu nimekumbuka atakuwa kuna kesho bwana sio sana bwana abadiki grow 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 usidale grow amen tumesema we are not going to migrate we are not going to die <laughs> hallelujah we are here to stay so dunia ijue tutaishi na tuna upako na tunataka kukura vizuri eh mapepo ijue hata mapepo ikisema tukufe sisi hapa tukufi imeandikwa atakufa amen hallelujah hata kama watu watasema ameturoga wajue sisi hatuwezi kurogeka eh hey, damu yesu kujua we are here to stay we are here to stay hallelujah na kujulikane kwamba hata kukua kubaya sana we utatokea tu Umai kuona watu wanafikiria tu ukavu ukavu alafu unatokea na news. You should let's start for prayer. Baba tunakupenda. 